Welcome to Time Beat Breaking News Channel. Here are our breaking news today. 1. In separate incidents on the New York City subway, at least four people attacked. 2. Philadelphia said moved victims' remains weren't cremated. The United States. In separate incidents on the New York City subway, at least four people attacked. In the New York City subway early Friday morning, four people were slashed within an hour in separate incidents. Four suspects ranging in age from 17 to 19 were arrested by authorities. A 44-years-old man was slashed in the face on a southbound subway train at around 4.25 a.m. He was taken to Bellevue Hospital and is in stable condition. Minutes later, another 44-years-old man was taken to Lenox Healthplex after being slashed in the back of the head in a robbery. Police said the alleged attackers remained on board the train as each victim ran off and that they are looking into whether the attacks were part of a gang initiation. According to New York City Police Department Commissioner Dermot Shea, at least one more suspect may still be wanted. A fifth incident also occurred Friday morning, but it was not immediately connected to the pattern. Train service was impacted as police conducted an investigation at Union Square. The responsibility for these vicious attacks does not fall on an already strapped police department, it falls on City Hall and the individuals who are taking advantage of the mayor's negligence on the issue. Move bombing. Philadelphia said moved victims' remains weren't cremated. Late Friday, Mayor Jim Kenney released a statement saying that the remains of moved bombing victims thought to have been cremated in 2017, under orders from Health Commissioner Thomas Farley, was located at the medical examiner's office that afternoon. When police bombed MOVE's headquarters, causing a fire that spread to more than 60 row homes, among the 11 slain, were five children. Kenny compelled Farley to resign Thursday, the 36th anniversary of the MOVE bombing, after consulting the victim's family members. On Thursday, in a statement released by the mayor's office, Farley said that he was told by the city's medical examiner, Dr. Sam Gulino, that a box had been found containing materials related to MOVE bombing victims' autopsies. The box turned out to contain bones and bone fragments. It is a standard procedure to retain specimens after an autopsy ends, and the remains are turned over to the decedents next of kin," Farley said. After recent reports that local institutions had remains of MOVE bombing victims, Farley said he reconsidered his actions. Kenny said Farley told him about his order late Tuesday, took responsibility, and resigned from the $175,000 a year job he'd held for five years. The city appointed a commission to investigate the decisions that led to the bombing, and in 1986 it issued a report calling the decision to bomb an occupied row house unconscionable. Move survivors were awarded a $1.5 million judgment in a 1996 civil lawsuit. Group members maintained they had been targeted since the 1978 eviction attempt, where a police officer was killed and called the complaint's explanation a lie. Thank you for watching. We help you stay up to date all the news hourly. Please subscribe our channel to follow up the latest one.